Ted, ask me why I'm ask me why I'm all bundled up today. Why are you all bundled up today? I'm freezing cold today. Why are you freezing cold? You want to know why, Ted? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You you pipsqueak looking elementary school looking whoa, mother whoa, 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 right now. Whoa. Look at you. What the. F- you look like I'd beat you up on a blacktop uh, during recess right now. What Jesus the, Christ. Well, you look like a Russian babushka right now wrapped up like that. I'll tell you why I'm bundled up right now. It's because for the first day in the in the three-month span of weather in Austin, Texas, it's under 100 degrees. Oh, okay. What? It's 99? Yeah. It's a cool 82 degrees in LA right now. I'm getting tired of Texas, man. Really? Where would you go? I don't know. You moving to Omaha? Maybe I'll build a, a desert oasis here. Like you're just going to make a big pond and like put like like one single palm tree next to it and then you're like... I've done it. And then you just settle there. I'll put some palm trees in, man. I don't know. Get some fountains, some jets. Uh, You should make a, like a casino. Ooh. Schlatt's Leisure Land is what you can call it. Dude, I can get all the old people in Texas to line up against that one wall with all the slot machines and they just sit there. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta make sure that they have like a drink too. There you go. Okay. There you go. Turn your wrist to the right a little bit. Now keep going. Nice. That's funny, man. You got me. You got me right there. It's funny. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome everyone to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich. I'm Schlatt, and I and and I'm with Ted. Hey, it's me, Ted. And we're here with our I'm tall and stupid, and I just keep God, yapping. You are yap, yap, sl- yap is all I do. I look on, like a fucking preschool. You're on right something now. else today. Also complaining God. about yapping on a podcast. That's, that's I'm new. one I'm one I'm one outfit decision away from a little fucking propeller on the top of my head. Dude, yeah. You need a you need a little propeller hat. I don't you have wait, don't I feel like you have one for some reason. No. No? I wish you did. No. That'd be awesome. That'd be excellent if you had one. I think that'd be really cute. I think you'd look really cute yeah. with one of those on. I could give it a little flick. Yeah. I start levitating a little bit, flying up a little bit. We need to get Schlatt. Do you still have that P.O. box? Yeah. People start sending little twirly no, hats. No, no, no. Don't send me anything. Box. Don't send me anything. It's a mistake. The P.O. box is not open anymore. Oh, okay. It's not open. It'll, it'll get Private sent back Private P.O. box. It'll get sent back to you. <laughs> it'll come right um, back. Before we go into this, I need to make something clear because see, people seem to be a little bit confused on what Tucker's role is on this podcast. And I'm, I'm going to make, I need to make it clear to everyone now because I've only been calling him a cherub. Tucker is the producer of the podcast. He's like, he's a part of the team and he's a part of the podcast, but he is not like a main host like Tucker or like Schlatt and I. He is a, he's like the producer. That's what like a Jamie is on Joe Rogan or something like that. Or you've got, you've got plenty of them on, on like the H3 podcast. Most podcasts have like the, the, the guys that sit in the, the seats on the main set. And then you'll occasionally see someone off to the side in like a chair or something. And they've got a mic or something. And it's it, it's a it's a common thing, and I understand yeah. that you guys maybe some of you listeners are used to the YouTuber podcasts where they it's just like a bunch of guys on Discord. That's what this is. But it, well, that is what this is though. But sometimes it's not. But yeah. sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not, and we just really want to drill it into you that Tucker is below um, us. Uh, we've got this new website service that we're going to be doing where you guys can send in your voice messages into. Chuckle mail. You can still submit to the normal Chuckle mail uh, form, Google form that we have, but there is this website called speakpipe.com. If you go to speakpipe.com slash chuckle sandwich, yeah. submit us your voicemail message, your questions, your comments, and we will be listening Dark to secrets. them on the next episode and we'll, we'll love to see you there and we'll do, and even if it's past that episode, make sure to submit there because we'll be doing it a lot more in the future because it's going to be a great new thing we're going to do on Chuckle Sandwich. Either way, today, Chucklers, we're doing something very special. Schlatt, take it away. Give him the rundown. Tear listing fast food. Boom. He's quick with his words. He makes a long story that short. That first one, listen, this first one is a mystery to me. A&W. I thought that was a soda, not a fast food. It is. It is a soda. But they do have okay, brick and so mortar locations. Okay, so why the heck they have brick and mortar locations? Yeah, and they, and what, they, in Utah? Yeah, they've got. You can get an official A and W 
A and W um, root beer float if you wanted to what? have a location. Yeah, there's one. Um, it's pretty. When I was I going like to Ithaca, that. there's one nearby Ithaca in like some like rundown. Like it's there's. I know that there's one in the general vicinity of Ithaca, but it's not in Ithaca, and it's like in the greater area. Tucker, you you there's there's one here too. Oh yeah. There's one near yeah, where Tucker and I'm is. close to Ithaca. Yeah, Tucker's close to Ithaca, and there's one near him. I mm. I got a root beer float there, uh, like two months ago. Was and it? it wasn't that good. Oh, no, it wasn't worth it. Really? Well, I've never seen one of these places in my entire fucking life, and I don't even know why it's on the list. Shall we give it an E? I I'll follow your lead. E as in exist? Question mark. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good one. Um. I'm realizing now, actually, because Tucker and I did that that fast food place, a lot of maybe our opinions from whether or not they would give us a fast food item Ooh. pull it to mm. the to the low. Like I would perhaps, you know, I've I've got two wolves inside of me um, when I'm looking at Burger King right now, because on one side there's the wolf of when Tucker and I pulled up to the Burger King, we tried to get a Burger King bacon and cheese, like it was like supposed to be like a or a ham and cheese sandwich. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah the, the special item, and they wouldn't give it yeah, to you. No, they wouldn't give it. To, and the dude was it seemed like almost like nervous that we were even asking for as long as we were. And then I was seeing in the comments later that I think people who work at drive-throughs they have like a certain amount of time that someone can be at the window. Otherwise, they'll get like docked for it or something. Oh, fuck. and not like and not like wow, the do- there. No, you, you you disagree based no, on what? Tucker? No, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we got happen. a McDonald's in town, dude. It's like thirty minute minimum. At the, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, okay, so it's too, purely anecdotal, is your opinion? Is is what that's based on? Your thirty yeah. Mc, McDonald's. Well, but then the other part of my wolf, my other wolf, um, is the one time that I was going to China. Remember that? Remember how I always bring this up? I went to China and at an airport in China, I got a Whopper there and I didn't speak a lick of Mandarin. So I, I, I pointed at a little menu they had for the people that don't speak Mandarin. They have a little menu and you point at it like a little baby. And you know, I'm like, I want that. Um, and I got a Whopper and it was like a good burger. It was like, it was like a fresh, delicious Whopper. Mm. It, it totally, and it was the first Whopper I ever had. So it totally um, threw a wrench in my perception of what a Whopper is. Are we ranking Burger King? Do we want to rank Burger King now? It'd be sort of strange after me saying all that if we didn't try to rank yeah. Burger King, wouldn't it? All right. I, 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 last time I had Burger King was in seventh grade. It was the day I got my braces off. And uh, it was supposed to be this really happy day, but it wasn't because- You had Burger King. We had Burger King instead of McDonald's. Why didn't you just go, like, go eat popcorn um, or something? I don't know. I, I just don't know. I just don't have an answer for you. This was so <laughs> long ago in my life. Okay. I couldn't possibly justify my actions. Now. Yeah, you couldn't. Uh, no, I mean, but the only thing I know about Burger King in recent news is they had a nice logo redesign. I mean, it, they brought it back to the retro style, so That's I get a true. point for that for me. But they lose a point because about a year or two ago, they had that fucking Chicken ad campaign on Twitch. No, it's, it's, it was the only ad I saw for like a year straight. They got, the, they got that so song back, too, the, the BK. You know, I don't even you know, know what you're talking, talking about. Whopper, no, Whoppers, no, Junior Whopper, oh, put God. my Whopper, dick Whopper, inside yeah, a Whopper. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. no, it's... Uh, I don't want to... I don't even want to talk about this brand anymore. Shall, shall we give it like a D or a C? You choose, Schlatt. D. D. Sorry. Also, Burger King's a second mover company, okay? You'll notice that if a McDonald's puts a... This is this is a... a I learned this actually in college about when I was in a business class. Because if a McDonald's puts a McDonald's spends all this money on their market research and they'll they'll be like, oh, we need a McDonald's in this town. They'll put a McDonald's in there and Burger King. Their whole thing is based on where have a McDonald's, where does a McDonald's open will bring a Burger King there, too. And that's it's the, yeah. so they're a second mover computer competition is what they do. Just that. That's just yeah, a, like a little leech. Yeah. 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 Like a little clam on a whale mm. or whatever those are. Whatever those yeah. things Wham, uh, are. Whale those clams, things. I think is what it is. Yeah. Whale clams. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't make that face, Tucker. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. What was that? You made, a, you made a little face there. Are you guys talking about barnacles? Nah, man. We're talking about whale yeah. clams. No, shut Bar- up. Clams. We're not talking about that. We're talking about whale talking clams. About clams. <laughs> fucking ass. Whams, as I Whams. call them. Yeah, no, that's the fucking colloquial. Fucking dickhead, Tucker. Dick. Fucking cherub. Fucking asshole. Bitch. Okay. Talkie, you should call out the next. In and, yeah, do in and out, in and out. Oh. 
There's in and outs a surprisingly controversial place. Um, there's an in and out here. Really? Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. They're pushing east. Ah, they're, 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 they're pushing not gonna, into they're Texas. They're not going to push that east. I feel like they're farther. They've got one in Colorado now too. They wouldn't go past oh. Colorado. I don't. I don't know if they're pushing oh, past. They're the in Rockies, Central Texas. Though. Central Texas. They're in Central Texas. <laughs> to be fair, Central Texas is now California light, anyways. So. You kind of have to make them feel at home. Dude, you're hitting all the points. But I'll right tell now. you this. I'll tell you this. The in and out, it's open very late, so it gets points for that. Yeah. But it's not very good. I don't know if this is just because could be, they, they got to ship the meat to Central Texas, <laughs> but it's not great. It's not great. There are better burgers in town. There. There's better burgers in town, Ted. Yeah. And I had a really awkward experience with the mother of a fan of mine at the in and out in which she just took a picture of me eating. Oh, right. I think you told me about that. Yeah, yeah, that that's a really strange thing out. because yeah. that must make you feel like you're a caged animal, where you're like yeah. you're mid yeah, you're yeah. mid bite in a double double animal style, and you look up and there's like this woman who's like oh, and she's got, got like a phone out pointing at you. <laughs> you should have smacked it out yeah. of her hand. That's a battery hitting the phone. Yeah, but if it doesn't, just be an accurate. That's smack. like pro- it's like their property though. Destruction you know? of property. Yeah. Okay, why all of us? Okay, I know I have a problem with this. Why is it that all of a sudden I suggest doing something a little drastic, and then all of a sudden Schlatt's, Schlatt's about laws, and he's about like Ted, that's he, violence, man. Oh, oh, I this is you have a problem I'm with not violence? A violent, Are you kidding I'm me? I'm not a violent man. I'm not a violent man. This is the te- <laughs> gaslight, te- gaslight Ted podcast. Ted, I'll gaslight not, you a little I'm not more. Violent. Uh, in and outs planning on expanding into Tennessee around Nashville. <gasps> what? Why would they do that? Yeah. Uh, probably for a tax break. I think they're going to move an office there and then start opening locations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everyone's leaving California, Ted. No one likes it there. Admit it. <laughs> I like California. I genuinely sure. like living here. Don't give those talkers doing a double thumbs down, man. That fucking sucks. Okay. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about in and out. Popular Tennessee location, popular Tennessee fast food chain in and out. Um, not crazy about it. Not crazy about it. This is C for me. Here's, here's a point that I think I'll make that I think is an important point, And a lot of in and out truthers will make this point when talking about it because I've heard a lot of, dic- you know, a lot of conversation around this topic. And that is uh, you don't compare in and out to something like a five guys or a restaurant burger like you're not comparing Why's you're that? not comparing it to your fucking truffle blue cheeseburgers like you're comparing it to a McDonald's or a Burger King and in that instance i think with the customization and the various aspects of an in and out it would put it in a b for me what do you mean the customization oh, there's, they have one thing on the menu okay so have you you oh, oh so you're you've never like gone and like done all the little doohickeys to an in and out burger what do you mean the doohickeys? Half of the, most of the menu exists off of the menu. Okay, well, that's fucking stupid. So that loses points in my book. So we're definitely, next Deep. time you're in LA, we're definitely going to go to In-N-Out and we're going to get you a proper In-N-Out burger. There's also something you What, is this like, hey, what, do you go up to the register and do like a bubble bass order? You hide the pickles under your tongue, you fucking idiot? Yeah, basically. Honestly, you would, you would go up, you would go, you would go up there and you'd say, I want a, <laughs> I want a, I want a fucking three by three Animal style, protein yeah, style. Yeah, three by three. Yeah, with triple bossy patty deluxe. Yeah, four by four animal style. Extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> Light axle grease too. <laughs> and then they're like dude, coming right up. Dude, Ted you have no idea why that was so. I'll tell you right now. That was funny. But I'll tell you specifically why that was funny to Tucker. Why? Because you said shimmy and a squeeze. Specifically, that is what got Tucker. Admit it, Tucker. Uh, it's more of the shingle. That's really? such a funny one. I thought, yeah. I thought you would have liked the shimmy and the squeeze part. Well, I just love the accuracy. Yeah. yeah I, well, I was reading it off of the off of a Wikipedia. Uh, don't page. don't break sorry, the, I ruined, sorry, yeah, sorry. Don't sorry. you don't have sorry. to tell me that. No. Someone was gonna call it out in the comments. Well, now, I mean, now. There was a bright light sh- sh- shining on my face from the page. So here's what I'll now say. I'm gonna look up porn. One thing that I will say that is that is a pretty fun thing to get at In and Out. Jesus, that cock is massive. And you'll probably have a you know you might have an issue with this when I say it, Shalat. But the uh. protein style is when you can replace 
the buns with pieces of lettuce. Okay. And what this does. Why would you? Why would you? You got to listen to me. 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 Okay. What this does is it removes the bun from the scenario. And, you know, you could get like a toasted bun, a buttered toasted bun at at In-N-Out as well. And that's perfectly good. And there's nothing wrong with that. But something special about the protein style is that when you remove the bun, all of a sudden the meat, the cheese, all of the internal ingredients become far more like apparent and it becomes this like cheesy meaty goodness and you also get the crunch of the lettuce it's wonderful it's, it's like a refreshing burger almost it's fantastic that's first of all not a burger second of all you can get lettuce on a burger if you want no, no, no. a crunch you take that lettuce you put it on the top and the bottom i know i know and I it's know, messy trust silly. me it's a sloppy that's, it's a sloppy job yeah that, that, that's just not something I don't think anyone should be interested in. It's a that's a mutation of a burger that shouldn't exist. That's <laughs> okay. That's like burger crisper, and I don't I don't fuck with that. That's Neuralink for burgers. I'm, I, listen, I want it at a B. That's D. I want it at a B. B. Oof. Well, because I would say I, I would say an fine, A, but I'm not happy. You... Fine, but I'm pissed. Fine, but I'm pissed. That's fair. That's fair. Fine, but I'm pissed. <laughs> We what should do uh, what a burger next because it's kind of the comparable, you know, the regional chain. F F, never have F. it. F I can't. No. I can't even F. say anything that that's nope, nope. What is that? Like? Everyone that? talks up what a burger. Everyone was. I was excited to try a Whataburger burger when I moved to Texas, and it was the most milk toast, <laughs> underwhelming food I've that's ever good. eaten. Milk toast, and it's not the the quality of it is not F tier, but just the. <clears throat> Just the disappointment mm. of how just utterly ordinary it was was uh, w- w- Ooh, puts me good, at a That's tier. a good roast there. Utterly ordinary, man. If you yeah. really want to hurt someone's yeah. feelings, you could just be like, "Man, I am just. I hate how utterly ordinary you are." That would ruin someone's day. <laughs> that would that would it's send true. them. That would that would make someone spiral. <laughs> it's true, man. It's it's like it's C tier food, but. There's no reason anyone needs to be talking this place up. The only plus it's got is that it's open 24-7, a lot of them. So. Okay, that is pretty good. So it, it's it's good for the degeneracy in you. Like if you've got like a good yeah. buzz going post-bar yeah. and you're like, ah, I'm going to get some Whataburger, and you order it and you just yeah. inhale it like a vacuum cleaner, one of those wet, dry vacuum cleaners too. Nothing gets, everything gets picked no, up by yeah, it. Yeah, everything gets everything. But the problem, dude, I got a gripe. I have a gripe. Ooh, okay. Say your gripe. I'm like call, I'm like fucking Colin and Samir right now. I have a gripe, okay? Yeah, do they say and that it's a lot? that the only reason that Whataburger gets points for the 24 seven thing is because no one else does it in Texas for some fucking reason. Austin is like a very sleepy mm. city. Nothing's open past ten, uh, and like you'll you'll go to New York and like 24 seven fast food is not even like a. People don't even think twice. Like, yeah, the bars are open until that everything, four in New York City, right? Yeah, fucking everything's open in New York. Fucking everything forever. That's one thing New York has over That's, LA yeah. is bars close at two in LA, and I think the bars close at like four in New York. I mm. could be wrong though. Anyways, so Whataburger's yeah. down there at F. What's this last one that we added to the end of the tier list? Audio listeners love you to death. We got a tier list. If you, you should watch the video version of this if you want to see what we're looking at. But anyways, what's it called? That last one, Back Axby. Zaxby's. That's Zaxby's. What is Zaxby's? I've never heard of this it's before. A fr- it's a chicken place. It's a chicken place. Well, I like chicken, but is it good? No. So F? No. I put it maybe E. I just have to trust you yeah, for that I, one. So. No, I don't, I don't. I'm not a fan of Zaxby's. Uh, it's one of those things where like you wish any other chicken place was there instead of a Zaxby's. Yeah. You know? Yeah. One time it was completely raw. Oh, See, that's something that you'd expect a chicken place to just never do is is serve their yeah. chicken, their main thing on the logo of their mm. their establishment raw. Yeah. Yeah. You'd think they'd have to get that right. Gross. To be in business. Okay. We should do another yeah. chicken place. Why don't you guys do like a Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A? Oh, I like Chick-fil-A. Okay. Chick-fil-A is good. I have a, this might be a hot take. Okay. I believe in my heart of hearts. I think Popeye's chicken is miles ahead of Chick-fil-A. But with the one caveat being every time I bite into Popeye's chicken, I, I it's like a fucking timer in my gut. 
that just explodes <laughs> like an hour later. And I'm on the toilet and I feel like absolute shit yeah. for hours. Hours. I can't I, I can't handle my Popeyes for whatever reason. But so maybe the, that God, tells you that chicken the chicken sandwich, itself bro. is maybe not as good. So are we comparing well, the spicy I mean, chicken sandwiches good. or what are we comparing here? I When I go to a chicken place, I want a spicy chicken sandwich. So that's how I would judge the Chick-fil-A versus Popeyes. Both are good. Popeyes is better. It's crispier. The spice is better. But it always lands me with a uh, less than favorable visit to the toilet. Okay. So I'd probably put them pretty evenly matched tucker and i once went to a popeyes in when we were driving into new or into louisiana when we were on a road trip together we went to mm -hmm. a popeyes and it was a really really not good experience and it really it was weird it was just like a, it was like one of those like it's times where you go to like a fast food place in the middle of nowhere where you've never been before and you go in and it's just like the vibes are off there's there's something going on like it's it it was it so and that's really the only experience yeah, like, that yeah. I have with with I Popeyes. Uh, I get it. It's like going into a Checkers. At, yeah, I've never even been into a Checkers, so I'm sure yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm sure the next yeah. time I go into a Checkers, I'll I'll I'll, I'll look around. <laughs> Some and I'll people say, will know what that's And I'll like. say <laughs> I was warned about this. I'll like hear your voice yeah. reverberating in my brain, and you'd be like, "Watch <laughs> out <Ooh>. for Checkers. <laughs> Don't oh, go to oh, Checkers, yeah. Ted." Go into the bathroom, <laughs> third stall from the right. The dead body in there. Come see me. <laughs> oh, they got a they got a moaning myrtle in in checkers. Mm, mm. Um, yeah. So look, I I am a big fan of good chicken. I think it's one of my favorite things to get. If we're talking fast yeah. food, I'd put both of them at A. I put both of them at yeah, A. Yeah, I would too. I I'll tell you one thing. Honestly, my one of my favorite things to get at at Chick Fil A is not even Chick Fil A. It is to get the um, the cookies and cream milkshake, and then get the oh. fries, and then and this yeah. is my this is something I learned from my father. So this is something I learned from my father, and you know maybe people won't be into this, but I like taking those waffle fries and I like dip them in the cookies and cream shake and That's eating fair. it because it's fair. just the the, yeah, the salt like the salt on the on the waffle fries at, at Chick Fil A, at least the local one that I live near, is really good. And Tucker's had the local Chick Fil A yeah. that I order from, and it's you can test. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, yeah, Ch Chick Fil A is just easy. the The chicken is always good. You know what you're getting every time. But then they've got the Sunday. They've got the religion. Yeah, They're putting uh, religion in the business. What are we doing? They got they got good um they got good ice cream, but the fries m might just be my personal experience. Always soggy. At Chick -fil -A always soggy. For you? Maybe it's just the maybe it's just the Austin yeah, locations, it must be the but Austin. I, it, they're always fucking soggy. I'd be surprised too. You'd expect that there would be crispy fries at Mega Church Central. Yeah, I guess That's not. That's weird. I guess not. That's fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Okay. Well. But, yeah. That's how I feel. All right. That's how I feel. I feel like the Popeyes chicken is better, but always have fucking diarrhea and feel like shit after it. So. How about KFC? Okay, so KFC. This one I have no strong so feelings KFC about. Is like I really don't. Weird. It's like that is the I KFC gave me like acid reflux when I was like thirteen. Mm. Like I was, I, and then I you was probably like, just I was never like, did it again. Well, right? yeah, it, it was when you know how they. I think they brought this back recently, but they they. Initially, years ago, like a decade ago, they had this sandwich where it was two pieces of chicken and then shit in the middle. It was like the bun was what? pieces of chicken. They shit in the middle of the sandwich? Not like actual feces, but like they had like oh. cheese and sauces and stuff. And it was like this little sandwich. And it was like, it was so oh. good. Okay. It was so, my mouth watered even thinking about it right now. I mean, mm. but it, 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 it poisoned my body a little bit, so. But I mean, KFC, they've got a, a good mascot, uh, the Colonel. They do. Ours is a little Colonel. cursed looking. Yeah. <laughs> ours, yeah. Ours, yeah. Our version yeah, that's is a little bit a little of demonic. Scary. I'd probably have to, we'd have to put it below Popeye, Popeye yeah. Chick fil A, though. Yeah. So surely we should below put it that. at a C. I don't feel strongly about this chain at all. I put it at a C. Yeah. I mean, if you want chicken in Texas, you're not going to KFC. I'll put it that way. I'll tell you one chain that I feel really strongly about. And this goes out to all What's my that? Midwesterners out there because I've driven through there a lot. Okay. And and every okay. time that Eddie and I have gone on the road trips, 
Well, I discovered, I don't think, think I discovered it maybe for the first time on the rainforest trip, but then it was like a requirement to stop there on the Margaritaville mm. trip. And I will mm. say without a doubt, this needs to go in the S category. It is Culver's. Okay. Never had it. They never have had it. Fried cheese curds at Culver's. Mm. That sounds gross. Curds. I hate the word curds. Okay. Have you ever had a mozzarella stick? Sounds like turds. Okay. That's great. So I'm I glad that instantly you, think I'm, of I'm, shit. A mozzarella stick is just a long cheese curd. Yeah, that's what basically. I'm. Is it really? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Wow. Um, but then you've got the quality of Wisconsin cheese going on there. And it, mm. they're 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 perfect. They're literally perfect. And they've also it, got like ice cream there that they can give you. And they've also got this they have ice cream there that they can give you. They've got ice cream there, and they can <laughs> and you can purchase the ice cream too. It's what not a just strange dis, way it's not to just say that for display. Um, okay. And they've got like these fucking melts you can get. Like you're talking, I'm talking yeah. sourdough with a burger patty and then cheese and and it's not a soggy one either because sometimes problems with fast yeah. food places is they'll be making a melt and then it comes soggy and then you're like okay well now I'm just covered uh -huh. in wetness no yeah I've, I mean okay. we, we've still you seem very very I'm pa very passionate well, about it's this not, they're, so they're I, not in I've LA. never had it I've never had well, it because they're not yeah, in LA it and the only time that I can I can get Culver's is like I mean there's like maybe one in Arizona but like most they're they're in the Midwest and I can tell you one thing, I'm not really trying to go to the Midwest all the time. So like, it's like a, it's a joy yeah. when I, when I go to a Culver's. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been to that part of the country, nor do I even have the desire to go. Yeah. So maybe if I, if I find myself there in some kind of awful situation, <laughs> I'll, I'll maybe go. Yeah, you'll crawl, but, the, uh, you'll but yeah, crawl the Culver's. Ted, I got to make a deal with you. All right. I'll give you your ass on Culver's. If you give me an S for well, that wasn't the deal. You chain. just let it go there. Well, hey, well, hey, I'll let you have an S here. If it's, you give me my it S. It depends on what it is because there's, it really depends. It really does depend. Shake on it. No, I'm not shaking on it. You need to shake you on need it. To, All right, need, then I hate Culver's. Fucking hate no, Culver's. No, okay. Because it's the, from the Midwest. No, Tucker, don't pull that there down F. Put, F going pull that F. shit away from there. Going down to F. No. It's at least C. It's got to be C. I hate the Midwest. Never want to visit there. Give me my S. Give it shake. Hold on, I'm just I'm shake scanning the I'm scanning them. I'm scanning them to see if I would have a, a significant issue with any of these. Oh yeah, no, I can give it an S because Tucker's the only one who's gonna have a problem with what you're about to do. Shake it, shake it, Deal. Tucker. Put that Culver's an S. All right, do it, shot. White Castle. Interesting choice. Yes. So White Castle is a is a uh, is a White Castle. White Castle is the bottom of the barrel. So why are you doing that? It's the bottom of the barrel. It is. I mean, they give you these little bite sized <laughs> burgers. Yeah, they're like little. They're little like it's finger food. You just shove them in your mouth. Oh, yeah, I've never been to a they White have Castle an item. before. I just know that they're oh they're a Midwestern brand though. That looks pretty good, dude. That last one you just they clicked, Tucker, the White Castle burger thing you know, to the right. Uh, yeah, there it is. That looks pretty good. People are gonna be pissed off. At I, I think okay. that's like a. Have I told a fan you that made. I have I told you that I worked at a? Oh, it's fan made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, they Damn. they're recreating it in a better way. Have I told probably. you that I worked on a commercial in tw in 2018 for White Castle? No, I, have I was. No idea. I was a. I was a genie. Swing. I was a. I was part of the grip and electric department. I was a swing. I was, it was oh. a job. I was brought oh. on by this guy named Nat, and it was okay. a Facebook live stream that White Castle was doing where they were promoting these chicken rings. You know those chicken, those fried chicken rings that you would get in elementary school. Yeah, yeah. So White Castle started selling those as part of their business oh. model. Um, That's fucking cool. And uh, the commercial was basically. Um, the commercial was basically them doing uh, like the whatever those things that old people watch where they're trying to extract uh, money from um, dementia uh, ridden uh, what old people where it's like a Q, QB, QVC 
where it's like a channel where it's like, oh, we've got this wonderful, yeah, QVC. This yeah, wonderful sure, ring sure, yeah, and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, like paid programming. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. They basically did a parody of one of those programs, except that they were showing off the ring and then they were putting the mm. ring on their finger and then they were like <laughs> showing it off. So that's like the one instance. And they had they had a bunch of the chicken rings out and they were they were bone chilling cold. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's my one Look, interaction with White Castle is working on something for the market. I will fully admit, man, I'll fully admit to everyone listening, I don't think the food is that good, but there's something, there's something, you know when you're spiraling, you know? Oh, yeah. You know when you're, when shit is just really going downhill mm -hmm. and sure. you need something, like you need something to like match that energy, you go to White Castle, open 24-7. I don't know if there's many people out there that are actively spiraling and they're like i want to spin this baby up more and then yeah. and then white i go out of their oh, way listen. to choose something oh, nobody's matching me, the teddy. energy of a crisis no one you listen to me teddy you listen to me you walk into white castle at a 2 a.m you go i need a crave case it's a fucking suitcase full of burgers <laughs> and then the guy looks at you funny because they're like oh that's just for you and then you're like all right and two drinks so it doesn't look like it's fucking just you eating the entire crave case well they definitely would if if your response to them saying just for you, you say, all right, two and drinks. two drinks. Uh, two drinks. I need two drinks. Oh, my God. You eat it in the car. Just parked outside the White Castle so no one could see you. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. It sounds it's like gotta, White Castle kind of has the same energy as Jack in the Box, which is actually not even on our list here. But I would probably put, you know, Jack in the Box pretty low to the F tier category. Yeah. But I've yeah. definitely ordered Jack in the Box several times while drunk because they never close. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. you can get a bunch of fucking garbage from them. But they're curly fries. They're always soggy. They've got these fucking yep. jalapeno poppers that are just, you know, you'll eat them. You'll eat them. And you'll say, this is good in the moment. But you'll be like, why the fuck do I eat all 10 jalapeno yeah. poppers from Dude, Jack in the Box? You know, you know what I compare White Castle to? Those, those fucking sugar cookies at the grocery store. With the fucking frosting on them, and you bite My into them, and loved you know. Those growing up. Well, well, I love White Castle. No, you don't. Right? You admitted that you don't. Yes, like I do. Yes, I do. No, I do. I love White Castle. <laughs> I love the have, vibe. Okay, your opinions are have oh, ha, are and have always been in flux. I'm a f I'm a fucked up individual. You are okay? White Castle. S. You're a messed We're up guy. We're leaving it there. We're leaving hey, it there. Hey, look at me. You're a messed what? up guy. I got two guns behind me on the wall. I believe it. Because you're because you've got a twisted mind. We should shift to a breakfast scene and do a Starbucks versus Dunkin'. Okay, Dunkin this is easy for me. I think I think I know your answer as well, Ted. Why? Because we're East Coast. Oh, I thought you were gonna. Yeah. I thought you were gonna position yourself against me because of I'm no, from no, Massachusetts no. and you're from New York. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, no. I would say that Dunkin' Donuts is probably a B right now where it stands. It yeah. used to be an S. It used to be an A. Tucker, hmm. they're selling fucking avocado toast at, 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 at Dunkin' Donuts right now. They're selling avocado toast. And it, it, they're selling... They got rid of the mango culotta. They got rid of the coffee culotta. They got rid of the coffee culotta, Tucker. Listen to my words. Heed my words. You understand? Yeah, but they have the Charlie. And they have donuts. What the Charlie? A for me. Dunkin's yeah, like Charlie an D'Amelio and Starbucks D. is like a D. Oh yeah, Starbucks is a fucking F for all I care. Actually, no, 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 no. I'd probably put I'd probably put Starbucks towards a D or maybe even a C. I would put Dunkin. They cost the same thing these days. I would put I would, Starbucks. I would, is, do, I would do B Dunkin, C Starbucks. I'm more biased. I'm more biased for donuts rather than coffee. So Dunkin was always my choice, and uh, East Coast pride a little bit puts Dunkin up top. I uh, don't care for Starbucks one bit. Yeah, I think B and D is a good split. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you one thing that would have pulled Starbucks up to a C for me is that they've okay. really been working on their sandwich game over there on really? Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, they got various different types. They've got like twelve sandwiches now that you could different sandwiches you could order, and they're all pretty good. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. If you're ever in a, like a if you're ever in a hotel or something, then they've got like a little. Starbucks there. Try one of their sandwiches for breakfast. They're pretty good. And they're small servings too. Like it's it's you're not like you can get like a 400 calorie sandwich or something like that and it's good. You guys should uh attack all of the pizza places. Pizza places. F. No, no. Oh, you know, F, no, 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 no. That's going to end F, the episode F, F, way too F, quickly. F, 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 F. <laughs>
F F F. What are you doing, F. man? What are you doing? Little Caesars. I've never had Little Caesars before, so I could put I, I, nothing pizza. special. I could put that in F. five dollar hot and ready. F. D- Domino's A. F. What a. are you fucking talking about? No, you don't about? understand the history that Tucker Domino's and I have. A. No, you don't understand the history oh that Tucker God. and I have. That's with the Domino's. most New England uh. shit I've ever heard. What do you dude? mean? New England? What do you mean? Oh. No, it's not oh. about because you want to be. You want to. You're so close to the good pizza, and yet you have to fucking rely on the oh, stupid dude, shitty chains pizza. like Domino's. We have man. good pizza in in in. So then, why are you this putting proves it out of you head? don't understand? You, this proves you don't understand a lick about uh, what you're Ted, talking about. And, uh, next time, maybe next episode's mid episode, I'll show the receipt. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, because I got it. Oh, the receipt where it was like. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, yeah. I know what you're talking about where it was like You guys are going to get shit for this. No, we're not going to get shit because I'll tell you one thing that you need to this. understand about okay. Domino's Domino's Fine. Pizza. Fine. Is that Domino's Fine. Pizza is not a pizza place and should not be placed in the same category as like a New York slice from Joe's or something like that. You fucking prick. It's a fast Poor food roses. place. It's a fast food place. Domino's is a fast food place you can order fucking loaded tots there you can order their fucking parmesan bread bites that will kill your body but they're so goddamn good that it feels so Uh good in the moment you can get a pan Mm -hmm. i can i can't tell you how many times tucker and i have ordered pans for each other over over our childhood where you're like oh you're gonna get me a pan you buying yeah yeah i'm buying i'm buying you a pan pizza baby with bacon and pepperoni so it's fast. That's that's the that's what it is. Yeah, it's fast but it's food. Like, let, let me tell you what else is yeah. fast. All right, you fucking asshole. Walk into any pizzeria. Say I want a slice of pizza. They fucking give it to you. You pay a dollar twenty five. You're at the door, and it's way better than Domino's. This is bullshit. You're gonna get it's shit not for this. Better than Domino's. You're gonna get it's t- different. You're gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble for this opinion, okay, Ted. Okay, I get it. I get it. But listen to this. If I, I had agree. the option of putting, you know, Serrano's brick oven pizza at a nest, I would. I would. And that's why I put, I, that's why I wasn't throwing Domino's an ass, because it's not an ass. It's not A. It's not even anywhere close to A. What are you talking about, you man? You put fucking White Castle at S, dude. What? what, what you're, it's the vibes. It's the vibes. There's no vibes okay? here. Your entire, a, the there's entire a time and a place. structural. There's a time and a place for White Castle, and there's not for Domino's. In the, anywhere in the Northeast, bro, pizza is right there at your fingertips. You can go to anywhere, say, give me a slice, huh? and then they, they fucking give it to you. You listen to me, you cockamamie fuck, okay? You fucking The cock-sucker. entire structural integrity of your opinion dissolved the moment you were like, I'm going to make a deal with you, Ted. And then you made me make uh-huh. a deal with you, and they were like, I'm going to put White Castle at fucking S, all right? The people don't trust nope. you right now. The listeners, audio listeners, no. love you to death. They don't trust you. They don't. Maybe some of these people haven't even seen your face, and they're like, "I bet he looks like a fucking rat." And they'd be right, <laughs> but y- you know what? I'm right here, and everyone knows with the with the head on their shoulders that Domino's is not deserving of a. You're gonna put Domino's, Ted, Ted, Tucker, you're putting Domino's me on up. the same. Stop I'm- talking and think for a fucking second, Ted. You're putting Domino's at the same level as Chick Fil A. Yeah, it's a fast. You're putting place. Domino's. You're putting Domino's above In and Out. Like this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, because this is ridiculous. No, because, to me. because Domino's the, has served us honorably for years, years without fail. Without fail. Thank you, Tucker, for that little tag in there. Okay, because Domino's. Okay, you got to think about it this way. It's a Saturday night. You're on games with the boys, all right? You're doing a yeah. couple drops into the minis of PUBG, and you're thinking to yourself, man, oh, man, oh, man, I got no class tomorrow. I got no homework right now. It is like fucking, maybe I'd even say it's about it's about to hit winter break right now. We're talking December, baby. And you think yeah. to yourself, I'm getting myself some fucking dominoes you put it in the ex- the the app exclusively for dominoes okay and you see you see fucking you see fucking 
Dominic is pre- preparing your order and he's putting it in the oven and then it's on its way and it shows up and it's there and it's hot. You order, you, you add in maybe fucking five cups of the garlic dipping sauce because why the fuck not? It's good. You dip the pizza in it. You dip the fucking Parmesan bread bites. Domino's is fucking good, but it's not good for you. Let's move on. Are you done? Oh, I'm done. So what do you think about Great. Wendy's, Schlatt? Uh, it, much better in New York than it is in Texas. Much better. Something is up with all the Wendy's in Texas where they fuck up every order and the food is not as good. There's something to be said about that Frosty, though. There's something to be said about that Frosty. The frosty. They, they, they got a good brand going on with the Frosty. I'm putting Wendy's at B tier if we're in New York. I'll accept it because I, w- I, I've, I lost a lot of energy to think right now after that Domino's ring. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Um, steak and Shake is pretty good the one time I had it. I've never had it. Never Tucker had didn't seem to like that. Experience. Okay, fine. We'll put it at D. I don't uh, know. I had it in uh, Yucca Valley and it was... Uh, oh, well, you had good. it in Yucca Valley. The yuck is in the name, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're putting that at D. We haven't finished the other pizza places. Oh, right. What do... We have Pizza Hut and then Papa John's as well. Oh, for all I care, those guys could go at F if we wanted them there. Oh, my God. You're fucking stupid, man. I'm not stupid. stupid. Don't call me stupid. stupid. I don't like it when you call me stupid. stupid. It hurts my feelings. You're stupid for this. The only... Okay. In in my perfect world, all of them get F except Papa John's, which gets E. Okay, fine. Put Papa John's at E. Like I don't have any. And the steak only reason, the only reason is, is for it be, is because they got that garlic sauce. Okay. They got that garlic sauce. It's very good. So like, Domino's Jesus got Christ. the garlic. Domino's at A. Domino's at A. Man, I can't. <laughs> this is this is fucked up. It's fucked uh, up, man. It's fucked up. I've never had Quiznos before. Have you had Quiznos? Quiznos is fucking good. Really? Yeah, I like Quiznos. I'll let you put yeah. it up there. I'll put Quiznos above Subway. You know, it's it's one of those you make your own things. Uh, and, and generally, I find myself uh, exiting the Quiznos with a uh, with the nice nice. I'm, I'm, I'd I'd be totally okay. I'd be totally okay putting Subway as low as we want because Subway has a very and Tucker can attest to this. Subway has a very very shocking and deep sort of trauma response. The smell of that place uh. for us when Tucker and I both worked at Staples. Uh, we both worked at Staples. The uh-huh. closest place, as in like you could drive there in 30 seconds, was, oh, was Subway. Subway. So when you had your 15-minute yeah. lunch break, you go over to Subway to get a sandwich there. And then it's like, right. and then it takes like five minutes or something to to get the food. And then you have to drive over. So it's like you got like about like eight minutes to eat. So right. Subway was the place that you always go to. And granted, I still did. Talk or about- you'd order from... Where Domino's, Domino's. yeah, Domino's. right before before it shows up. I actually because never, they would deliver. I never, I never ordered <laughs> Domino's while I was working. Well, you didn't really work too much while you worked there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, well, I did. I mean, I was blocking. There, there's, there's a, there's a very. You're right. There's a very unique scent in every subway ever, and it's a, it's a thick air to it. Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I go into a subway every now and then, and I'm like, oh, I remember that. It's a little nostalgic to me, but I don't. I'm not going to sit here and say I love the food. It's definitely like Tucker had a special sort of meal that he. It was like it was like something about it was. There was definitely something where it was like pepper jack and pepperoni were involved in the sandwich. You know what I'm talking about, Tucker? Yeah, yeah. I think I would do the um, like rotisserie chicken, or was like shredded chicken. No, you wouldn't put chicken on there, man. It was it was turkey. Well, it was probably turkey. It was I, turkey I transitioned pep- it was turkey, pepperoni, from, pepper jack, uh, like yeah, lettuce, tomato, well, bacon too. Bacon, I think. Yeah, it was that a was high, a high school sandwich. It was a high meat sandwich, <laughs> high meat, uh, yeah. high fat sandwich. But walking in there, it in in many ways trauma, but also sort of like your sanctuary in many ways because it was that was that there was that one guy that always worked there and he recognized you when you walked in. Uh, anyways, yeah, you'd be F, though, because you'd be wearing a Staples uniform. <laughs> there's some, there's some yeah. pent up frustration there. I'll let you guys put it at F if that's what your Stop heart really wants. Stop saying that you're wants. letting us do these things. Like, like you're I'll giving us you a gift. It. Okay. Well, I didn't want to let you put fucking Domino's at but F. But I let you put so Whataburger I'm, I'm, at I'm F. I'm upset about that. But we made a deal, so that was contractual. And I let you put Wat- okay? uh, D- Dax. I let you put Culver's. At okay. S. Can we all agree that Auntie Anne's is S tier? Yeah. Wait, 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 let's do. Yeah. 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 
That's us. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. DQ mm. on the, and this happened, there's a, actually when we went to the thing, when we went to the thing, Eddie, oh, the thing. The th- yeah, there's the a DQ attached to the right, thing right. in, in really yeah. and combination thing and DQ. Yeah. And after we went Fuck there, yeah. before we got back on the road, I ordered a sandwich there and it was like, um, oh man, it was good. It was a good sandwich. They have like good sandwiches at DQ, like good burgers and stuff. And they're like, and they're like, they're just like, I don't know. It's like one of those fast food places where they've got like the, the greasy, tasty, funky options and they're just good. I don't know. I have, I have a very, very strong opinion on dairy. Queen. Really? Okay. Is it in a positive yeah. or negative? Want to hear it? Yeah. Well, well, hold on. Okay. It seems to me like you like Dairy I do. Queen. I, I, is, I, I, yeah. I like Dairy Queen. So here's the thing. Growing up, there was not a single Dairy Queen near me. Mm, okay. Okay. But on road trips we do, oh. you'd start seeing them. Mm. Okay. So Dairy Queen became a delicacy for these long road trips. It became something to look forward to. Because the fucking blizzard, they served you upside down. Upside down, bro. Yeah, they do the flip. Upside they down flip ice it every cream. Time. That's fucking cool. Yeah. That's fucking cool. And it was only like an ice cream place for me. It was only an ice cream place for me growing up. Sorry. But after moving to Texas and seeing how many there are, we fucking love Dairy Queen in this state. Yeah. They're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. And the food is decent. Yeah. The food is decent. And let me tell there's actually lore to Texas Dairy Queens. Really? Yeah. Where is Dairy Queen from? Like, what was its original state? I don't know. I don't know. But there's some lore with Dairy Queens that I think you'll enjoy. So, there's a couple Dairy Queens around here that are fucking awful. Okay? It's in Illinois, by the way, like, for the answer there. Yeah. There's a couple that are awful. There's a couple that are really, really bad in the Austin area. And there's a couple that are really, really good. And like the reason they're good, no, well, yes, there's a there's a sub chain of Dairy Queens in the Austin area called Mayfield Dairy Queens. What? It's a oh, it's, it's an, like a like yes, a franchised. It's, it's an extremely rich family that got into the Dairy Queen business and does it better than any other non Mayfield family Dairy Queens. It's like it's the difference is almost night and day. With these Can things. we try you, that? You when want we Dairy come Queen? Out? You go to a Mayfield Dairy Queen. Yes. Are we gonna tr- Tucker, yes. you you down for that? We're gonna try the Mayfield Dairy. Uh, Dude, this place this yeah. place looks romantic. What the fuck? And it, and, and you oh, know what? They he's pay like the twice as with much. The fucking cowboy hat. This is great. They pay twice. They pay they pay fairly, and they, I think I think they're uh, you know the employees always seem happy there, which is not something wow. you can say about the other ones. But I, I'll say. Dairy Queen is is I put it at S tier. I, I'll I really allow that, especially because I yeah. there's nothing that I could I would never want to take away the nostalgic aspect of, of a dairy of a road trip road trip mm. Dairy Queen from you. There's no way. And yeah. I also like Dairy Queen, so I'd put it in S. Nice. Um What do you guys think the comparison between a blizzard and a McFlurry is? Uh oh, blizzard you can so get you can you can you can assuredly get a Dairy Queen <laughs> uh blizzard and you will not probably yeah. get, be able to get a mcflurry <laughs> if you tried they're never gonna it's say so even if you blizzards. ordered it even if you ordered it and it said that you ordered it sometimes it just doesn't show up doordash yeah remember yeah, i think, yeah, I think we, ordered, we, we doordash yeah. something and, and emma didn't get her mcflurry mm-hmm. and it was there yeah that was bad that was bad because it, emma it started was spinning. disappointing emma started spinning her arms yeah, and yeah, it, she does that. she's like a beyblade it's fucking terrifying um yeah, I don't. I haven't been to a Panera in a very long time, but I, I, um, I would put it. I mean, I just have some good times. Like a lot of these places, Panera's like good. a lot of these places, are, yeah. I relate to my my high school experience specifically with Tucker because Panera we would go to a lot in in uh in a, in, in the town yeah. over, and it was uh it was pretty good, and they it was like kind of like our equivalent of like going out to a restaurant, kind of. You'd sit, we'd, do, we'd go in and we'd sit down. Yeah, it's nice fast food. Yeah. I quite enjoy the idea of soup and bread. And then yeah. you get to eat the bread afterwards. Yeah. That's just fun. It feels like That's you're, fun. you know, it's not, it doesn't feel like a regular fast food place. It's like, it's like, okay, we're having a feast. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like. It's like glamping. Yeah, it's glamping. It's the glamping of fast food. Yeah, no, okay. I put that up. <laughs> I put it up in an A. And they have a good, uh, they have a good buffalo chicken sandwich that's new Ooh, to the menu. So, I had that. big vouch on that. 
Vouch yeah, on I that. think what yeah, was this? A- a- I would get some a- sort of sandwich. I would get like the pick two thing, but where it was like you get half a sandwich and then you get a and you get a, uh, a yeah, soup. you get a little. So I get a tomato soup, soup yeah. and then I, I would get like yeah, I get like the Parmesan tomato soup, and then I would get this sandwich that was like like turkey avocado to tomato tomato and stuff, and it was like yeah, I don't know, it was just I don't know, it was fresh back then. It was good. It's good. It's good. It's still good. Yeah, yeah like it's still it. good. Um, where did you want to put Quiznos? Flat. That seemed. I put Quiznos at B. Okay, just throw. It I down. like Quiznos. They also have a good buffalo chicken sandwich. I mean, I I like I like spicy chicken sandwiches. I think that's the <laughs> I think that's the moral of today's yeah. story. Um, I would put Five Guys pretty high, just because I like Five Guys. I like Five Guys. I put too. it at an A. I don't feel that strongly, but I will say the vibes in there, great vibes. Yeah, it kind of feels vibes. like you're walking into like a deli. Like a like a New York yeah. deli where it's yeah, like it's, it's, it's the people and the, the people it's working there are kind of yelling at each other. They all got metal. They got that metal bowl where he's fucking salting the fries yeah. and he's yeah, spinning it around. It's good. They also have always supported my YouTube dreams because whenever we've walked in there and had ordered Moses a ten patty burger, they will still do it. Really? Well, yeah, they did it. We 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 started with wow. a we started with a five patty burger when we went to Pax mm-hmm. one year. And then we did an eight patty burger, and then we did a ten patty. We did a ten patty <laughs> challenge. Uh, mm-hmm. I think was it we we did five. I thought we did a we did a five first, and then maybe we did, did we eight. Did we do an eight? I think we did. Or did a we set, go right to ten? I think maybe we did ten. Yeah, maybe we went five, and then we went ten. I thought. Well, one never made it to video. Oh yeah, and I there's the you might 15, still you might right? still have the video of it, but we have a we I've have got some we good have footage. footage. We have footage of when we were filming it, and I just filmed it wrong. Anyways, I tried to make it like a live stream thing. It was weird. But, oh yeah. Um, we have footage from when we tried to film the fifteen patty challenge, where Moses was just putting burgers. He was putting them down his gullet, and he just couldn't do it. And it was the dead of winter. And Moses, we have this footage of Moses hurling chunks of of of, of hamburger patties onto the street, on, on, I, on, you know, I Petco parking lot. I didn't need to hear any lot. of this. I didn't need to hear any of this. I should post that and on remember, my channel. And I remember going back into that area. I remember going back into that area weeks later because it was the dead of winter in Massachusetts, and the barf was still frozen on that parking lot. I could still oh, see. I, I'm gonna weeks. post that. I didn't that. need to hear any of that. I didn't need to hear any it's of that. hilarious. Moses was thrown up. Terrible. And I and I think I was doing this thing where right. I was like posing next to him as he's hurling. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah. It was inti- uh, yeah, oh. that is classic. That's a classic thing to do. <laughs> yeah, people will find it. <laughs> and Moses is uh, like a he he like kind of he kind of screams when he throws up a little bit. You know, <laughs> where he's like he's like ah, yeah. it's a terrifying visual. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, the the, the the lot of lot of great five things. Guys five guys A. Five guys A. Five guys A. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And so, did, did they have peanuts at all the five guys? Oh, you. It, oh, you couldn't. I think that might be phasing out. What? They're phasing uh, out the peanuts. Well, Texas Roadhouse got rid of them. Well, that's Texas for peanut Roadhouse. allergies, people. I don't know. Okay, don't five know. guys is not gonna be a. They do. They do everything in peanut oil. There. It's like it's a peanut uh, I guess specific place. Like, remember when we yeah. went there with Thomas for one of the videos, and Thomas couldn't even enter in the building because he, he like he stood out. He yeah. was outside the building because he couldn't. It was he has a severe peanut allergy, so he yeah, not for weak people. No, not, not at all. <laughs> um, all right. So what's I'm next? Happy with a. What's That's next? Fine. Carl's Jr. Tucker, take it away. I don't got no no opinion on Carl's Jr. Uh, Carl's Jr. served me very well uh, during my time at Twenty Nine Palms. Uh, but they are really fucking slow, so we'll give them a C. They're southern, right? They're California. No, uh, Hardee's really? is southern. Yeah, Hardee's yeah, is southern. Hardee's. They're the same thing, though. Yeah, they are. Uh, Someone tried to argue with me that they were different restaurants at one point. They literally have the same logo. I know. I know. That's why it made me so mad. Yeah. I was like, I showed them next to each other, and I was like, look, same restaurant. And he's like, different titles. Yeah, and I'm like, what are you fucking thing. talking about? I'll tell you one thing. I, Hardee's I no has better opinion. breakfast sandwiches. Hardee's isn't even on I've this list. Ha- I know. I've, I've just had. I've had a lot of fast food because I've been on a lot of road trips, and I've just. It, I've been placed in a position yeah. where I've tried a lot of these places. Fair. Um, uh, I'm happy with C. I don't. I don't care either way. Panda Express. We Never had been. that during Chuckle Week. I like Panda. I like Panda Express. Yeah, Panda's pretty it's good. good. It's 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 uh 
it's it's always reliable. The orange chicken. I mean, they they pump out billions of tons of it. A billions year. I think of got tons of orange. Pat. That's a funny visual. They've got, <laughs> I mean, they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. They I know put what the fuck they're doing. B for billions of B's orange fair. And chicken. B's fair. B's fair. Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell, but you know, I get Taco Bell more than I should. But it's a B I, in my head. Yeah, I mean, the food's good. The food's good, but I I never like my how I feel about myself after a Taco Bell outing. Really. Yeah. I don't like how I feel about myself I, after a Domino's outing. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, maybe that should <laughs> knock it down a few. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. All right. Worth the shot. Worth the shot. I'm fine with. I'm fine with Taco Bell at B too. You, I don't really. You mind. seem sort of surprised <clears throat> with how like parallelly passionate Tucker and I are on Domino's. <laughs> like you seem like like thrown off by it. I I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I'm I'm confused. I am confused. It's like, it was, it's like a critical character in our childhood, almost. It's followed Fair. me, too. Yeah. yeah. I've I'll never it been it without it it, outside of like a mile of a Domino's, ever. Yeah. Hey, man, as I say, I'll let you have it. I'll allow what it. What do you think of Chipotle? They got E. coli. They're never escaping that E. coli shit, dude. That, like... Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I like Chipotle food. I got a uh, the, the forever card from them oh, from OTK. Shit, that's true. Did you lose yeah, it? Yeah, the burrito card. Did you lose? No, I gave it to my dad. I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that at all. Yeah, and I gave my dad the card, and he uh, he says he's like, dude, I get Chipotle all the time, and he's a bigger fan of Chipotle than I am, so he's like a fucking celebrity there. The one thing that was annoying about the Chipotle black card is that no one knows what the fuck it is. So like you'll give it to them and you're like, yeah, this means one free burrito. And they, they're like, they look at it, they fucking flip it around. They got to call the manager every time. It's like, it's quicker to pay. That's so, the richest thing I've heard I mean, you ever heard. You <laughs> yeah. Usually <laughs> oh, it's well. not about the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, time is money. That's what they say. Yeah, no, but money is also money. And that's a free, that's free. Don't care. Rich. They only give it to rich people anyways. I mean, what the oh, fuck? Oh, dude, the amount like, of stuff free shit that rich not, people not get. Like, it to, they're not giving it to you to fucking Joe Schmo listen to this anyways. Yeah. Yeah. The rich get richer. It's literally true. That's so true. That is like, it's mm -hmm. it's shockingly true how much the rich get richer. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah I would for put me. Chipotle maybe at a, at a <clears> like, it's like a C or a B really. I, the one thing I really, I almost always, whenever I order Chipotle, it's usually not because I want a burrito from Chipotle. It's because I want an excuse to get the, a large queso with chips from Chipotle. Yeah, the chips are Tucker, good. you seem confused it's, by that. Well, nobody gets burritos anymore. Burrito bowls are in. That's a, No. Yeah, no. I go there all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, a burrito shows up one out of maybe every ten orders that go through. What are you? What are you? What are you fucking like? He's, you just stand at the aisle. He's the prince. You just stand. He's the prince of Chipotle. Look, look, look at him. Prince of Chipotle. Look at him. Sorry, I, I, I know what I'm talking about. The chips are right. good, but burritos are out. Everyone gets burrito bowls. Yeah, that's just not true. But okay. I mean, I usually get a burrito every time I order from there. So. But how yeah, often are you order? Not that often. Uh, like I go all the time. Once, I never get a burrito. Maybe like once a month. <laughs> That's not that often. It's at least 12 times a year. I feel like that's more times than most people would go to Chipotle. Yeah. No, not if you live in a college town, dude. Yeah. yeah. I guess I guess some swamped. people become regulars. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'm happy with B. What the fuck is Long John Silver's? Who fucking knows, man? Why do you <laughs> fuck even that? Add this fuck that. I've never, never even what been. I've never even been. What the fuck is that shit? Put that in half and let's keep going. No, no. <laughs> no so it's, I'm so curious. They're attached to A&W's. <laughs> Because it's like A and W's combination A and W and Long John Silver. Uh, what I wouldn't give, what I wouldn't give, is uh, a root beer and some Long John. So who's saying uh, that? <laughs> nobody. Root beer, a root beer float and some fish and chips, baby. <laughs> I don't even know God. if they sell fish and chips there. They probably just sell. I don't know what the fuck they do. I, I they, think they do. I bet they sell. I bet they sell fish sticks, but they're shaped like those French toast sticks you get in elementary school. You know, like perfectly God, triangle, yeah. like square, rectangular. Yeah. Um, well, either way, F. Fuck that. Yeah, uh, Mc fuck McDonald's that. is an A. I mean, it's McDonald's. Do we? Do we have? Do we got a problem with that? Uh, yeah. No, I don't. I'll tell I you don't. one thing. I like yeah, ordering McDonald's at McDonald's that I've kind of got into What's lately. That? I like getting a quarter pounder with cheese, and then adding and having them add mayo to it because it adds a little bit. Damn. Of Whoa, Tucker like you that. like that? 
Yeah, that sounds pretty mid-episode good. Mid-episode interruption? Yeah. No, was... uh, my mid-episode interruption was going to be uh, this Borak call. <laughs> <I've got here. laughs> what the hell is it's that? It's a fucking bionicle, It's a bionicle, man. Hit the back yeah, of it. Okay. Oh, my God, a bionicle. Well, I got to unfold it first no, if you... you want me to. Oh, yeah, Yeah, so oh I can God. go like that. Yeah, oh, whoa. Baby. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's awesome. That's, that's sweet, awesome. dude. I, I think this love, one's the the Nuvok call, I think. They got weird names. <laughs> I have Toa Nuju. On my nightstand, dude. I, my favorite thing about the Bionicles was when the, when was how involved Lincoln Park was in in like their music. <laughs> the music was where that's so true. Where, they like, so almost true. they uh, they got like Bionicles infected. like saved Lego from bankruptcy. Really, uh-huh. Lego was in a really bad spot coming in to the like late nineties there, and Bionicles exploded, helped pull them out because they were yeah. they were I'm going surprised. down. I like I was so. I was so invested in the lore of Bionicle. Like that was probably the first lore that like man. the lore, the first lore that Dude. captured me. <clears throat> Bionicles are so fucking cool. Yeah. That was a good that that's, was a good mid, mid episode interruption, dude. You just had that you had that ready. You had that ready to go and you pulled uh, it out. No, yeah, he he sits on my desk with my with that's my good, man. Yeah, I've got the other 5 of his siblings in the closet. <laughs> Cuz they there are sets of 6. Dude, my my yeah. all my Bionicles are just in a bin and they're they're not you were much, yeah. you're, you were clearly a much more organized child than me, Tiger. Where you still have them? Oh, in their I form. yes. Yeah, <laughs> a, <laughs> Bro, the biggest bionicle I ever built was Gadunka. Gadunka. Look that up. You know one Gadunka. thing. One thing that was very impressive for me, and I think I mentioned this before, I had the Mask of Light. Not oh, the, I had that not guy the, too. No, no, not the matte one, Tucker. I'm talking like I had like a version of the Mask of Light that had like sparkles in it and stuff where it was like the legit one wow. where I could tell kids. Oh, it was like cleary. It was like yeah. clear plastic, like too? epoxy. No, I had the matte gold. I had all, I had the matte gold <sighs> and the fucking epoxy glittery one. And I would go to the elementary school and I'd be like, I got the Mask, mask of Light. And they'd be like, that's the fucking Mask of Light. And they'd be like, yeah. Yeah, I know. It was pretty, it was pretty impressive. It was pretty cool. Anyways, we got we got we, we're getting off track here. We got we got like four more restaurants to do, and we got to end the podcast. Yeah, we got to blaze through. We got to blaze through. The Sonic, I think it's pretty cool because you get to pull in and and, and and they're you can't you can't go in, but like I think it's pretty cool. You get to pull up and they give it to you in your car. It's like the it's sort of a, the epitome yeah. of American capitalism in in many ways. Style points, I guess. They got rollerblades. The I most entertainment I've sell. ever gotten from a fucking Sonic. Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever eaten there. I mean, it's been at least a decade. Yeah. Uh, the most entertainment I get from Sonic is seeing those videos that pop up every now and then of the fucking employees falling and then all the food <laughs> just splatters yeah, no, over the pavement because they're on roller skates. I'd probably be in the same position if I had seen that video as well. Yeah, um, there's a bunch of them. So just look up, look up Sonic employee. Yeah, I feel like yeah, D, D is where we yeah. put our guys where it's like where we where we're like we uh, whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. All right. You know what else is whatever? Fucking Jersey Mike's. It's whatever. It's whatever. Tucker didn't like that one. No, dude, that's such an S tier. Uh, no, you're the only opinion. person I know who doesn't think, who doesn't immediately go, "Oh, dude, Jersey Mike's, that's the best." You're the only <laughs> who person. The fuck, I, who the fuck feels that strongly about Jersey Mike's, man? This, my opinion stays completely unchanged from the last time we brought this up. Jersey Mike's sandwiches are wet, bro. The bread. Comes out soggy. I don't know if this is just an. Uh, awesome my name is Jay Schlatt and I like it dry. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if this is just like a fucking Austin thing where where like the fries at Chick Fil A are always soggy in the Austin area. But my Jersey Mike sandwiches Dude, are always wet. The bread is soggy. Schlatt, I really the meat is worse. <laughs> the bread is worse. Jimmy John stays on top Dude, here. I, that, Jimmy I don't John think that stays you on top here. Tucker off as much as you pissed him off right now. Look at him. He's like he he Dude, looks like he so doesn't want to be here it. anymore. <laughs> no, uh, Jersey Mike's is like the best one out of anything on this menu. Okay, I, enough from the peanut gallery, Ted. What do you have to okay, say, Tucker? You can't be saying that when you're talking. You you're putting you put Jersey Mike's over Domino's. Are you fucking kidding me? Stay in your lane. Wow. All right. Speak when you're wow. spoken to. All right. Exactly. Just get on with it. No, don't, 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 don't shoo me away with your hand. Well, he shooed you away, bro. He shooed you away. <laughs> don't shoo me away. What is <laughs> get that? get what on with it. Get on ro- with it. What are you, a fucking lord? Royalty? What is this shit? <laughs> yeah, I, I am a lord, actually. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, it's okay. Lord of bad opinions. Boom. Fucking Jersey Mike's D, Got bro. Got him. Tucker. D. Yeah, drink your water. C drink D, your water. Man. Get some hydration. C D. Yeah, can somebody get this fucking guy a water? Please, somebody get this guy a water. He's out. He's just eating ice now. 
He's drinking, yeah, he's drinking fucking droplets he's drinking from the bottom. backwash. Yeah. Fuck you. What do you think about Jersey Mike's, Ted? I think Jersey Mike's is pretty good. I've never really had a problem with Jersey Mike's, but also there wasn't a there wasn't uh, a Jersey Mike's in Ithaca. There was a there was a Jimmy John's in the downtown part of mm. uh, Ithaca. So I mostly had Jimmy John's, and I would just get a like a I would get a BLT, and it would be like six bucks, and then I would it, it would it was like cheap and easy, and yeah. it was. They would use a a lot of mayo, and I was happy about that. Um, the mayo's good. I mean, at the end of the day, and like you're never really gonna get like a. Whenever I go to one of these sandwich places, I'm always getting a BLT. Like I, I'm a big BLT yeah. guy. That's just like I'm an Italian. You're an Italian. Yeah, I do the Italian. Wow, I'm not Italian. No, no, no. I, I like an Italian. Sandwich. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, just want to clear that. Yeah. Up. No, I'm sure that. Interesting that you really needed to make sure that people knew that you weren't Italian. You got something to Definitely guess. not Italian. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I'd say <laughs> that Jimmy John's is, I, you know, I would put it also a D just to keep, like, the 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 sort of. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just trying to keep, oh, no. I'm you trying to keep, that. like, the, the sort of interpersonal sort of energy at a safe level between the, member, I'm not, the members I'm not of interested the team in this. here. I'm not interested in this. No. But you're gonna you're gonna put it higher, tell you, like I'm not interested in this. I think Jimmy John's is A. I'm gonna pull it down to a, a B. Okay, fine. As long as Jersey Mike stays below C, where it belongs, Tucker. God damn. Well, you just made my you just made my list, Schlepp. Dude, you pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> Audio listeners love you. Death Tucker just pulled out a fucking notepad and <clears throat> paper with the. <laughs> Actually writing shit down. Right. Anyways, Arby's. Let's, Arby's is just like Arby's is last just so one. okay. Arby's is just like whatever. They've got. The- I don't give a fuck about Arby's. Me neither. Maybe anticlimactic ending. Yeah. We probably should have ended on anything else. I, I was trying. Arby's to, I was going to choose Arby's before I the 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 conversation on Jimmy John's that I knew was going to happen. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah, Arby's can just be like a what a C. Just put it in the middle. Sure. Sure. All right. That's it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is our tier list of fast food places. Let us know what you think. If you disagree, I'm sure some of you do. I'm sure some of you do. Oh, I'm sure. And I'm sure people have got some strong opinions. I'm sure that they have strong opinions. Maybe some more strong than Tucker. Maybe Tucker's sitting there and he is just grouchy. He is that is that is Oscar the Grouch sitting there. <laughs> oh well. Boo hoo. <laughs> Um, I get paid to be on a fucking podcast. <laughs> Boo hoo! My life is so awful. I'm Tucker. Oh, they didn't put Jersey Mike's where I thought it belonged. Look at my bionicle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, thank you for listening to this podcast. Audio listeners, love you to death. Video watchers, you're all right. Um, and make sure to check out the little website we were talking about at the beginning of the pod, which is oh, and yeah. the and the URL for that for our next episode is speakpipe.com slash chuckle sandwich you go on there you leave us a voice message ask us your questions maybe a scenario something ridiculous that happened to you that you want to you want to help us you want to help us help you figure out Mm -hmm. for yourself Mm -hmm. or maybe even like if you and am i the asshole that came from your life maybe ask us if you're the asshole explain the scenario to us whatever it is head over that website check it out thanks so much call me uh and we'll and hey before we go, we're hard on Tucker this episode, but any Tucker haters out there? Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you, you, Tucker haters. Fuck you, fuck bitch. Fuck you, bitches. All right. Peace out, Chuck. See ya.